I Have Something to Tell You by Chasen Buttigieg is the young adult adaptation of his New York Times bestselling memoir. In the book, Buttigieg opens up about growing up gay in a small Midwestern town while encouraging young readers not only to be seen, but to be active in seeking acceptance and representations. And Chasen joins us now. It is great to see you again. I really appreciate your writing this book for so many reasons. It will help so many young people. But for you, how did it help you to put it all into words? Yeah, well, one, it was great to see those senior pictures up there. Wow. Uh, <laughs> you yeah. know, I wanted to write Fantastic. the book. <laughs> I wanted to write the book I wish I would have had in eighth grade. You know, we did not talk about gay people growing up in conservative rural northern Michigan. I thought for a long time I was the only one. So now that I've gotten to grow up and become this person and have this platform, I wanted to turn around and write the book I wish I could have read in middle school that would have helped me understand that there's nothing wrong with me, that I didn't have to be defined by the opinions of other people in my community or even my peers, that I could lean into the things that make me different. Uh, and this book is also for parents and teachers. This book is about how I could have benefited from a, as a young person from a, a simple conversation, a 10 second conversation with my parents that I, I would have known that they loved me unconditionally and I could have focused on being a kid rather than fearing that once I came out, if they ever found out this secret, I would lose everything. Hmm. It was so hard. And, and, and you say the book is for parents as well, for greater understanding for them, and maybe yeah. even can be used as a, as a tool in the communication process. I'm yeah. curious, um, what about those who whose parents aren't so accepting. What's your advice? Well, the first thing I want to say right now, just in case any young people see this, is that there are millions of people out here who love you for exactly who you are, who will support you, who have your back, and who are fighting day in and day out to make this country safer and more inclusive and accepting one. And I know what it's like to feel like you're the only person uh, to, to wonder if it truly gets better when people say it gets better, to wonder if that is actually going to happen. And this book is a way to tell you it does, but it only gets better if other people are committed to making it better. So it's not only uh, hopefully a comfort for young people, but also a call to action for allies and parents and teachers to make sure that young people know that they need to be supported, that they are, are accepted, uh, and cared for. That's why as a former teacher, I made sure to include a lot of discussion questions, discussion questions and prompts in the back. That is helpful for families and teachers as well. In our closing moments, do you want to tell us about Grandma Wanda and, <laughs> yeah. and, and sort of your conversation with her? One of the biggest messages of this book is that people can come around. People can progress and, you know, I was terrified after I came out that if, you know, everyone told me, don't tell Grandma, it'll kill her. And I was so sad that I could lose this person I love so much. And so, you know, when I came out to her, she grabbed my arm and said, I know, Chastin, and I love you just the same. That story, that evolution in my family is what saved my life. When I ran away from home, my parents and my family called me back home. They didn't know anything about raising a young gay person, but they knew they loved me more than anything else in the world. So there's a rainbow at the end of that story, pun intended. Uh, but I know that they <laughs> saved my life, and Grandma was one of those people. You know, they, they focused on love and family above everything else. And I hope that this book will help other families and other parents, as well as young people. And I, you know, I'm launching a really big book tour right now so folks can visit chastenrights.com. And I hope I will see you around the country so we can have these conversations uh, and we can call more allies into this fight. Chastin Buddha Judge, thank you very much. Thanks the for young adults me. version of his book, I Have Something to Tell You, is out now. And